Garlic Pompkins this to my favorite. Good morning. We run in today. The last run. The last. Why did it sound like I was gonna break out in song right now? <laughs> But we're running. This is my last run for Couch to 5K. I checked the app and it's just another 30 minute run. And I'm realizing, you know what? I've been running 30 minutes, but a 5K is 3.1 miles. I've been running 2.2 miles in 30 minutes. So although I'm running for 30 minutes, which is an accomplishment in and of itself, I haven't been running a 5K. And so I'm like, today's my last run and I wanna run a 5K. So that's what I'm gonna do. It's my last run. We're running my first 5K today. And you know what? I'm excited about it, but also like, I was gonna say my knee hurts, but it doesn't hurt. It's complicated. I don't know how to explain this. I think I've showed you guys this before. I have this like kind of growth on my leg. Like this is my kneecap. And this is this other thing that I have. You can't even, how do I show you? Okay, maybe you can see it now. Kneecap growth <laughs> i've had it for forever i don't know when i got it my mom noticed it when i was like maybe 11 or 12. she was like what is that on your leg other than noticing a big old bump on my leg it's never caused me anything until yesterday when yeah this little popping sensation that i'm feeling it's on that leg and it actually has to do with that growth that i have and this mass that i have as opposed to my actual kneecap but yeah we're gonna run despite that do I sound crazy? Maybe you think I'm crazy. I don't know. You know, I'm tired of these little stupid injuries and as soon as I'm about to do this 5K, what is this? My leg is tripping now? Like, <sighs> so I called my dad, you know, trying to cry about it, honestly, but he was not even having it. Y'all got parents that just won't let you be upset? Like, I just want to have you listen to me and say it's gonna be okay. But he's just like, oh, that's the enemy. Don't let the devil get you down. <laughs> Listen, I'm not getting down, but can I not be upset? Why would you want to wallow in? I'm just like, oh my God, why did I call this man? <laughs> love you, daddy, love you. But I just wanted to vent like Jesus. That's, that's, that's that. Weird stuff's happening with my leg. Let's pray to God it's nothing, but I really won't know. I mean, I don't think it's nothing, but it is like, why am I feeling this weird sensation all of a sudden now? I'm like moving my legs now. We're feeling good. I can run, so let's go run. Let's go. Gosh, the 5K, the last day. I really wonder how much longer it's gonna take me to do an actual 5K. Cause yeah, my plan is to just run until I hit that 3.1 miles. So let's do it. On my first 5k day. We here and we ready. Oh my god. Oh, almost 40 minutes. Whew. As good as this feels. Whew. Yeah, I kept checking that clock. I was like, are we there yet? No. Are we there yet? <laughs> I almost stopped at 2.99 miles just keep going till we hit three. Oh my god 39 minutes my race my 5k that i signed up for the public run is in about two weeks from now so hopefully we can hit a pb and just do a better time this was such a great run though like this is the fastest i've been running i think i was just like on a on a high. Look at average pace, 13, a 13 minute mile. That is, this is the, the best that I've done. 13 and five milliseconds. <sighs> Feels good. Oh my God, I'm tired though. I'm sorry, this is just the cutest thing. So after finishing the race, the app like, just wanted to celebrate me, I guess. And it was just so cute. So this is me when I first chose the run. Um, for those of you guys asking, because I have people ask, the app I'm using is just a Couch to 5K app, but it's through the NHS. So it might only be available here in the UK. But I know that there's couch, there's a ton of different apps for Couch to 5K. So check it out. I would definitely recommend it. I really went from the couch to run at a 5K.
so did my meal prep which oh my god it actually doesn't even take that long especially since i started using the instant pot anyway um one thing i'm learning though about like the days that i'm doing the meal prep the like three days or whatever is that well first of all it's just a lot of protein and i feel like it's just i feel like i'm getting so much more like gas because of the protein i just just put that out there i'm losing my train of thought i need to eat i'm actually really hungry got my spinach and my ground turkey and i wanted to show you guys this right here i've been playing with some new sauces this is coconut aminos it's basically like like a soy sauce but it um has less sodium but yeah it tastes so good and it's so good with like the ground with this ground beef kind of salad thing it's still like really low calorie it's just a really nice like seasoning sauce and marinade that you could use also garlic and herb sauce which is basically like you can use in lieu of mayonnaise it's lower calorie it's really tasty so yeah those are two recent kind of finds i'm enjoying using um you know what i'm gonna link in the description box i have a blog post because occasionally i blog like for my members my members only site and stuff just to share some things with the journey especially since i like i'm on the last leg of this i'm down to the last 40 pounds i have to lose and i'm in a season of dieting you know i like to take times like i said seasons of maintenance seasons of dieting some unintentional maintenance seasons but we've been working on getting into the swing of like a heavy season of dieting now let's eat this food and i actually want to buy harry potter tickets anyway i'm gonna go get these harry potter tickets secured the bag we are headed to a board game night yes i haven't been dating it's been a while since i've been on a date because honestly ugh, spare me but <laughs> i'm trying to you know make sure that i get out the house and do things that i like to do and i like board games okay so i'm going to a board game night it's from like 7 to 11 i'm already late um but your girl you know i was running and i was exercising and i was doing my team today <sighs> plus i literally don't know a single person there like but this is what life is like when you live in a different country and you're trying to meet new people and make new friends so yes i'm going to this board game night hopefully it's a really good time hopefully i get to play something hopefully i know the games that are there i'm excited for it <laughs> These things are always pretty fun, so I'm excited for that. Hopefully I make a friend. Not doing a whole lot, just a little bit of concealer, a little bit of mascara, a little bit of eyeliner, and a little bronzer because I'm kind of putting this concealer all over my face. <laughs> Silver and gold, I'd rather have Jesus. A little bit of red all over the face just a little bit you know what i am excited about though i'm so excited for this harry potter play like i got them tickets snag those tickets she braided and a half a little half down tingy i'm gonna let this press my edges let's go check out this game night <laughs> hey you guys another day another vlog my bus is actually here on the way so i gotta go but we are headed to my physiotherapist appointment today it's my second appointment i'm seeing him once every two weeks so we'll see what he says today i've been doing the exercise he's been giving me so i'm excited Ooh, sorry my boob pressed the stop button <laughs> so so much he told me to increase the weight we're going to be moving to um strengthening like dumbbell bench press 
seated overhead press all using dumbbells unless we start using doing some strength work so i'm just i'm just so happy i'm buzzing <laughs> i don't know if you guys can hear me but yeah man that was just such a good meeting i'm so excited just to have like going to see a physical therapist actually seeing improvement so like i've been going to the doctor for my arm it's been like six months and it's still not back to normal and it wasn't even a serious injury like the doctor's like there's no sprain there's no tear you know so i'm like well why is this taking so long to get back to normal <laughs> and the doctors basically were telling me just to wait but yeah this guy has been such a blessing he um is a physiotherapist specializing in the shoulder specializing specifically for like sports exercise stuff that's why he works out out of my gym <laughs> so it's just perfect i'm like oh my god and he had kind of really explained to me that like oh well yeah like for the doctors you know doctors wanted to make sure you get back to normal function and normal like range of motion which you're at what you're looking for is to get back to what you're used to for your type of athleticism and the exercises that you want to do, which is a whole different thing. So that's what he's helped me get back to. Cause yeah, y'all, I was like, I am not trying to live life without getting these handstands. I'm mastering these handstands, okay? This is gonna happen. <laughs> and even past the handstands, it's like calisthenics, gymnastics, period. Like, I was really excited about transitioning my training into that style. So knowing I'll be back there, I can't, my heart is soaring, okay? Running uniform is on, which I mean, it's just, I, I wear hats. I wear hats when I run. <laughs> Going for another run, another 5K. It's been a couple days since the first run and it's time to go running again. So I'm doing my second 5K run. The goal honestly has been like, get to a 5K. And now that I'm here, I wanna work my way up to running 5Ks two to three times a week. Well, I'm already doing two a week cause I'm about to go again today. <laughs> I wanna work my way up to being able to run it three times a week though. Um, and I just wanna take the time for my body to get used to these really long runs, you know? Cause I, I went from go running 30 minutes to just running however long it took me to hit a 5K, which was basically 40 minutes. So that was a 10 minute increase already of just like those repeated motions. Um, and although I didn't wake up sore, like nothing, you know, I was mindful. After the run though, I was super mindful of just my body. I've been, <laughs> this is gonna sound so silly, but I've been paranoid about my knees and stuff. Um, so I've been wearing my knee sleeves. Like yes, the knee sleeves I have to squat. After my run, I just put, <laughs> I put on my knee sleeves and sit around for like an hour. <laughs> Just because the compression um, someone one of you guys reached out to me though. I was like, oh, you should really ice your knees um, After you run so I might just do that instead like so yeah, anyway, I've been feeling good. I'm ready for another run So we're gonna do it again. I'm really interested to see what my pace is gonna be like this time around Because I think I was just like super excited about the fact that I was doing a 5k and I Was just much quicker. I don't know how I did it, but I did it <laughs> And so we'll see what it's like today. It's seven o'clock, but because like the seasons are changing, it's already so, so dark outside. Don't be fooled. It's only like, you know, 740-ish, 750-ish going on eight. It just gets dark here early, early. But we're gonna start making the transition to running earlier, slowly but surely, slowly but surely. But tonight we out here. <laughs> <sighs> 40 minutes this time. My <sighs> legs. <sighs> Second 5k <laughs> was a bit slower than the first time. I figured it would be, but also because it's kind of you tell it's wet out here. So when I first started, I was like really cautious 
I didn't want to slip on you. I'm, I'm the clumsiest person in the world. So I was just like, don't slip, don't slip. Where the heck am I going? Two 5Ks. I ran six miles this week. Six miles this week. It's the funniest thing, like running for a long time, getting into like a rhythm. And then when it's time to stop, my legs feel, I don't know, funny. <laughs> I guess they're tired. <laughs> the other runs never made my legs tired like how they are now. But I guess me doing the 5Ks is running longer than ever before. So my legs are actually kind of tired. Like I walk like, whew. All right, doing the ice pack. My knees feel fine, but you know, just trying to be smart about it, preventative measures, especially because I, you know, I, I'm still carrying weight on me. And so I just think about like my joints and stuff. So just trying to be smart. Ugh. But man, it feels so good. I ran six miles this week and it just feels amazing. This is, I want this to be a regular thing. Six miles a week, you know, until it's easier, my pace gets better than bump it on up, bump it on up, bump it on up, uh, 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 uh. Anyway, I'm gonna finish reading. Um, Y'all weren't lying about this book. I'm more than halfway through looking. <laughs> I am so far into this book. It's so quick and easy. Really, 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 really enjoying it. But okay, bye, I'm gonna go. You guys, I finished it. I couldn't put it down. Y'all were not lying, I couldn't put it down. It was crazy. <laughs> the ending totally surprised me. <laughs> But I really was not expecting it to go that way. Wow, that was so good. Oh, that was so good. my Sunday this is like an all-day thing like I'm literally here all day it's broken up into two parts this is my entire Sunday and I'm not mad about it <laughs> I definitely picked this up from concierge like what the heck is this who would send me such a ginormous box it's almost as tall as I am thought it must be a mistake and then I saw the tape look at that Cruz Rup. what did they send me so I did have to take a sneak peek in the hall I had to like open it because I'm like this is crazy why is it so big let's just let's just do this unboxing let's do it let's do it Oh my goodness. There is stuff at the bottoms. I'm like, what is this? Well, I just read this. I honestly, I, a mat. I had no idea they were so, oh my gosh. This is heavy duty. You know, it feels like Christmas morning. You know what's crazy is I'm so used to watching and editing for other influencers who like get Gymshark packages and that kind of stuff. And it's always like, oh, cool, cool, cool. But I get it now. I get it. <laughs> it's exciting getting a package from a brand that you're partnered with, that you actually enjoy their content and you know you're going to use it. Like, it's like, oh my gosh, I can't wait to see what they send me. I can't wait to see how it's going to elevate my fitness. You get me? And a mat. Oh, I love that. Ugh. I love that it has this. This makes it so easy to carry. My legs are looking, she looking strong. <clears throat> I was gonna say, I don't really know how to flex my quads, but that's not true. I do know. I just feel like I do have big quads and they've changed over time and I definitely have added on muscle, but you know, we still have to shed. We have to get our body fat percentage lower in order to see and reveal all this muscle I've been building over the years. And we're on the way, we're on the way, so whatever. You know what's gonna help me lose that body fat to reveal this muscle? Yes, baby. This is so cool. <laughs> this is actually, okay, I can't take you off. 
you know what let's take this outside and actually try it out it's perfect because i was just thinking oh i kind of want to go to the gym but it's also like getting cold and i was like oh i don't want to walk <laughs> This is gonna be really cool, especially with winter coming, especially for days when I'm stuck in the house. Like I could literally take this mat, drag it right outside and jump rope on it without ruining my jump rope. The ground that you're jumping on, concrete, dirt, whatever, not only will it of course dirty up your rope, but it also will wear it down and tear it down over time, which is why you don't see me jump roping super often outside. But with this is definitely a possibility. Um, let's see what else they gave me oh it's gonna be different types of rope so different weighted ropes oh my god they sent me some like really teeny tiny ropes like for speed jumping for my double unders oh my goodness and then the ropeless cross rope i have seen this quarter pound two pound rope that's crazy i just want i just want to see so the ropeless um this is a workout Woo! the ropeless jump ropes have these um weights at the end of it and then you can get them different in different sizes and it's supposed to simulate the feel of a weighted jump rope oh my gosh <laughs> but it's it's ropeless so you swing them at your side as if you're jump roping and it's a really good way to get a workout in if you're indoors and you want to be in the house and you don't want to upset your neighbors by actually jumping up and down and it also be really good if you're pressed for time and you want to get a workout in and you want to jump rope but you don't want to have to deal with constantly messing up your jump ropes <laughs> like you know if you jump a rope and you're trying to get a workout in and move around but you keep stumbling over your own two feet and you keep having to start over it can just take time and kind of be annoying this you don't have to worry about because it's actually ropeless. The two pound is, it seems pretty intense. I could do one thing like this. This is so cool. Let's go, let's do this. So this was so convenient. I literally just took the mat and walked outside of my apartment building <laughs> and used it. And it's just, oh my God, it definitely made a difference. I just love that it makes jumping rope and just like me being able to do a workout so accessible you know it's one reason why i've enjoyed running so much is that you can literally just go out your front door and run very cost effective you don't have to pay for a gym membership you know and having a jump rope mat is very much the similar kind of thing like take it with you on the go take it outside and you can use it anywhere with your jump rope so it's really cool and i'm excited to do more like outdoor workouts outdoor jumping the fresh air oh, it's gonna be so nice but yeah <laughs> you see i kept tripping as i was trying to get my workout in so it's time to try the ropeless i keep tripping off my own feet and also the mat needs to lie a bit flatter so we're gonna play with ropeless using the ropeless is such an interesting experience i think it's so innovative that cross rope came up with this like i said it'd be really good if you're a parent and you're indoors if you're a stay-at-home mom if honestly you just your favorite tv show is coming on and you want to get some movement in but still watch tv you can use the ropeless jump ropes be indoors and get a workout in without even bugging your neighbors like it's absolutely genius you guys know i'm partnered with cross rope i love using their jump ropes if you're interested in any of their products definitely check out their website i have a link in the description box you can use my code ash15 for a discount and if they send you an email asking how you heard about them make sure to mention my name and let them know it was for me worked up a bit of a sweat and the rope keeps smacking my hair <laughs> i'm like i just styled you we just did you this is not happening so yeah we gotta protect protect the curls just got back indoors and ugh, the sweat mm -hmm. that was a good little session i only jumped over for like 20 minutes that's what i love about it it could just be quick and easy and simple and i just freestyle it but if you're someone that you know is newer to jumping rope or you don't really want to freestyle or you want to just find more challenging movements you can definitely check out the cross rope app they have tons of jump rope workouts you can choose from you get to choose how long you want your workout to be and you don't have to think about it and it's awesome but i decided to pick up the camera because i got home and i had a letter in the mail wait can you no you can't see my okay look at the letter my 5k is coming up 
and No, I'm kidding. I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it. We're ready for it. I get a medal. They time me and everything. So I just, yeah, go on pace for the first two miles and then push it the last mile and try to do, you know, my best time. And I look like a sweaty, hot mess. I got home today and I don't know. I'm in the mood to... Well, fix that painting for one. <laughs> but I'm kind of in the mood to rearrange things. But I do feel like my options are extremely limited. You know what the issue is, is that I'm getting so many books and I've run out of space for where to keep my books. I have some books and board games there. I got a bunch of books here. These are actually doubled up because this is actually quite deep. So there's, you can see there's two rows. There's some books in the back and there's some whose spines are in the front and you can see. Then of course, on the bottom of my mirror, and I've actually started piling up books here. <laughs> Basically, I know that I can create space and room. I just need to like move some things around. So that's what I think I wanna do. I think I figured something out. Hey! See, I turned it all this way. The really tall thing that's holding my hat, put right here. And yeah, I made some room because maybe this looks really tacky. Actually, I guess it does look really tacky. All right, got the books that were on the living room, like in the floor by the window, to stack up here. All right, not so bad. Moved it from there, stuck them back there. <laughs> My bed is a freaking, ugh. It's not cute, but it's made, so whatever. Yay! I did want to say I bought some new, um, well, I bought some groceries. I went grocery shopping. I didn't film it, but I did go grocery shopping because I'm trying another stew recipe. I'm excited about this one. It's actually a legit one I'm gonna follow and it sounds delicious. It's like a white chicken stew or something like that. But it's made with all my favorite veg, chicken, and I'm adding potatoes to it so it can be nice and hearty. I'll have to check in with you guys on the next vlog and let you know how it turns out and everything. But I did want to end this vlog here. Thank you for watching. Please make sure to like, subscribe, follow along, and I will see you guys in the next video.